Hey guys, this is Steve with homebrewvideos.com and welcome to bottling day. So I've just finished putting my spicy holiday Christmas ale into bottles and as you can see I like to reuse commercial bottles that I've bought. Um, I do also have some plain 12 ounce bottles I bought at the homebrew store. Um, these are all been sanitized and filled with our just freshly fermented Christmas ale. So now it's time to cap them. So one of the most common questions I get from people new to home brewing is what type of a bottle capper should I get? Now there's a few different models out there and unfortunately most people end up with the really cheapo one that comes with the beginner kits. And I'm talking about the ones with two handles. Uh, you have to hold them over the bottle, line up the bottle cap, and then crimp them. Uh, you crimp each bottle cap. It's really a lot of margin for error. You can knock the bottle over pretty easily, spill it, or maybe it falls on the floor and shatters. Uh, you know, if you slip up when you're crimping, uh, there's a slight chance you could, you know, crack a bottle or s slice your hand open or something. So, a little bit dangerous and definitely a pain in the butt to work with. So, what I recommend people get, you know, spend a few more dollars and get one of the of the standing bottle cappers. So, this model here, uh, you know, as I said, I like to use different size bottles. It's adjust uh, for different bottle heights. It's very sturdy. The bell on here is interchangeable. You can put adapters on here so you can cap different size bottles, especially if you use like a lot of uh, Belgian ales that come in the thicker bottles, you know, almost champagne style bottles. They use a bigger cap than these standard uh, bottles do here. So that's very important. So my recommendation, definitely get the countertop bottle capper. 